Hey everybody! I know it's been a while since I've posted a video. I know you can make fun of me about that in the comments, but I am back and I have something really cool. So I was chilling a few months ago just scrolling on YouTube and I see this speed video. You know, the guy who makes a lot of cool, realistic create mod vehicles. You know that guy. And he made a helicopter. And I looked at it, I was like, wait a minute, I made a helicopter. And his is better than mine. Well, I come today with a counter. I have made what I think is the coolest helicopter I've ever come up with, and it took a lot of trial and error to get it this way, so let me show you. Alright, so this is a concept helicopter, so it's using creative motors and stuff, so this isn't survival friendly, but it could be if I had like create ender transmitters on, but I don't, this is a smaller mod pack. And yeah, so I've been experimenting with this cool design that I saw in the video, and I improved on it. So basically, in the video, he has these propellers on physics bearings that you can you can see it's right there, and he uses flat bearings on the physics bearings, which is something I didn't do. So I was like halfway there in the concept, and basically what he did was have them turning. So whenever it's spinning and they're actually turned, the thing will go up. And so what I did was I also added ones that point in the opposite direction. So at the same time, it's providing upward and downward force. I did it on both of these guys right here. And it creates this cool effect that actually allows you to hover without the need of an altitude meter. But it's not, it's not perfect. You can't quite reach a perfect equilibrium, but you get pretty close. So let, let me show you. Let me just give you a tour real quick. So you come in here, this control room, and there's a lot of empty space. You can see all the thrusters that I'm using for control. Oh, there's some copycat blocks that I did not finish clearing up. And we've got this guy. This guy's interesting. So we got a gyro, and it's not quite moving at full speed, but that's because of this guy who basically tells it to, whenever it's receiving power from this redstone link, it basically just tells it to emit a pulse that's smaller than 15 in order to reduce the speed with this resistor rather than shutting it off entirely. And the reason is, when I flick this guy on, he's moving at max speed. So this is just a stabilization preference if I feel like I need it. So th this would be for like just wanting to stay perfectly level and still turn it on, that's flight mode. This guy right here, if you, gotta, you gotta come out here to see it, is basically just an activator for the clutch and you flick the lever thing turns on. This ship uses a weird mix of the link controller hub and redstone links. For the controls it was cleaner just to use the hub here and yeah that just made it really simple but for the rest of it I used links because there is a weird glitch with flat bearings and creative motors. Let me just let me just show you. Okay so you power this guy normally bearing moves all good and dandy you can see that. But if you power this guy, which I had to turn into a physics object in order to prove it, you'll see it kind of like moves weirdly. So I just stuck with redstone links to make the process simpler and easier to tell when things are actually turned on. And just for these bearings, have to, you have to put a creative motor in the, either the bottom or the top works wherever. I decided to put it in the bottom so you can hide it more. And that's what allows these things to actually turn because sometimes I forget you do actually need rotational force. I don't know why I forget that, but that is important. Well, let's take her out for a little fl flight, shall we? So let's come into the cockpit here, turn on the engines. These guys have been very specifically tuned. This is actually a part I forgot to show you. Um, with these analog re levers right here, these are what control the angle of the flat bearings for the upward force ones and the downward force. So you kind of just play with it until you get closest to what you need. The rotation speed also plays a factor in it, so if you made this in survival, you'd have to use a rotation speed controller. But let's actually fly this guy now. So I come in here, turn off the stabilization mode, which isn't perfect, I need to improve it, and now we can move. And so we're just, just kind of chilling. But now we actually want to go up, so let's hit the up button which is spacebar and shift is down and so what you'll notice is the helicopter for the most part stays level like look I'm not gonna hold anything right now there is nothing in my hand my hands look I'll clap 
nothing is going on and this guy just hovers i don't have to like tap space to keep it up and it flies pretty well and we can just explore it's not the fastest thing in the world just because of how i designed it we can ascend we can descend and it's pretty nice now it's not a perfect hover let me let me show you so obviously it's moving a little bit because i didn't perfectly coordinate the gyro and like weight distribution is like too much for even that gyro to control stuff like that uh, but let's get it closer to the ground so you can see what i'm talking about so if you just look this guy is slowly very slowly reaching the ground so eventually he's gonna just flop right in on the floor any second now any second now any second now guys i promise it's gonna hit okay what is happening but you but you saw it like slowly descended yeah, so this, this is a really nice way to have a consistent vehicle in your world. Like, honestly, it flies relatively close to a Eureka ship. Obviously, it has the sinking problem, but I would rather have it sinking than, fl than going upwards, so you're less likely to lose it. So you could just, like, fly around, pick people up, take them places, and it f it's overall a really smooth ride. You have to be very particular about the weight. Adding blocks on the inside will require you to retune it. So like if you put some seats, you'd probably have to readjust it. But overall, this is a really nice concept for smooth travel. Obviously, based on the look, it's based off like a US Army helicopter. I didn't really go for like realism or whatever. Because I mean like, look, look at the front. I know it looks bad, but the but the concept is there. All, at the end of the day, this is a this is a concept showcase more than anything. So I could try to make a more realistic one, but that would be in a future video. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. This is a really bad spot to stand. Sorry. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I plan to make more videos in the future, hopefully, if I'm not too busy. But we'll, we'll see. If you have any specific suggestions, let me know. I'll see if I can make it. And... I hope you all have a fabulous day. See ya!